was my favorite little warlock doing? It's been a while since you last spoke to me. How tragic. Has my own little underling gotten bored of me? <laughs> oh, I jest, I jest. How has the magic I gifted been serving you, little one? Your aura feels a lot stronger than last time. I'm glad. But you have summoned me, nonetheless. Hmm. Call me cynical, but do you perhaps require something of me, little one? You do. Well, ask away. I see. Out of spells in the middle of a dungeon. Now that is a conundrum, isn't it? Tell me. What did you do with all the spells I gave you for today? Mm-hmm. Well, since you've been putting them to such good use, I suppose I could be convinced to give you a little extra. Just this once. Under a few conditions, of course. Firstly, I'd like a smile. <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. You have a wonderful smile. And I would very much like to see it. <laughs> you do want those extra spells, don't you? There's a good little warlock. Oh, you look absolutely precious. That's what I'd like to see. Shh, shh, shh. I'm enjoying the view. All right. You can put it away now. Although I'd very much like to see you keep it. <laughs> the rest of the conditions? Hmm. Well, I think I'd like to see what my little warlock has been getting into. Perhaps you could show me that party of yours that's been positively eating up your spells. Well, they must be very important to you. But I wouldn't want you to be getting involved with bad influences. Oh, no, no, no. Of course I trust your judgment. But what can I say? I feel an almost maternal responsibility for you. I don't know if I could forgive myself if you fell in with the wrong crowd and got hurt. Oh, don't cover your face. You're such a sweetheart. This, this is exactly why I have to make sure you're protected. Shh, shh, shh. it's okay, it's okay. Just introduce me to your friends. Ooh, who's she? The one in the armor. She looks like a fine knight. And is 
was a... a royal crest. <laughs> my, my little one. Look at you making friends in high places. I'm proud of you. She looks strong. <laughs> I think her biceps might be wider than you are. No, it's okay, my little warlock. I think you look perfect. You just might not be entering any weightlifting competitions anytime soon. <laughs> so she's your party shield. Well, if she's protecting you, perhaps I'll keep a keen eye on her and lend a helping hand. If it's ever needed, of course. A little nudge in the right direction here. A little miracle there. Nothing that anyone would notice. Oh, it's alright. None of them can hear me. It's just you. Now, how about you show me the rest of your little friends? Oh. He, on the other hand, is a lot skinnier. And those glasses. <laughs> he might be even more fragile than you are. Hmm, that insignia. Oh, he's a wizard. I imagine he's the one all those healing spells have been going to? Yes? <laughs> ah, a tale as old as time. It looks like you've been taking good care of him, though. Well, look at you, my little caretaker. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I'll stop, I'll stop. You know, I've seen a lot of wizards in my time. A lot of them looking to gain a contract with me like yours. <laughs> Very few of them were worthy, though. I suppose those who actively seek the powers of an eldritch being aren't likely to want to use those abilities for more benevolent reasons like you do. It's part of why you're so special. You're just as pure-hearted as you were when I found you, little one. You only use your magic to lift up those around you. If I hadn't snatched you up for myself, perhaps you'd have become a cleric. Ugh. Think about how boring that would be. I mean, you certainly wouldn't be able to have the same enchanting conversations we do. No, no, no. I like this far better for you. Now, why don't you show me the last party member you have here? Hmm. My, my. A tiefling. Now that is a surprise. You know... I've taken on tiefling warlocks before. <laughs> well, what can I say? I like a good pair of horns. Although it's such a shame most don't see things the same way. I'm sure you've heard how tieflings like your friend here are often treated, haven't you? Yes, it really is unfortunate. 
All the more reason I'm glad you two found each other. They may not feel comfortable expressing it. But I'm sure your friend here appreciates your companionship and company more than they let on. I'm sure I don't need to explain that to you. After what you've been through yourself. Truly. I'm glad you have each other. Like kindred spirits. What role did you say they performed in your group? A bard. So they're pretty and talented. <laughs> I definitely approve of this one for my little warlock. Make sure you take especially good care of them. I like your friends. They seem nice. Oh, pet. Do you really think I've simply been looking at their appearances? No, no, no. I've been reading them while we've been talking. No, oh, don't worry. There was nothing they noticed. Just enough to give me some insight. <laughs> just so you know, they think just as fondly of you as you do about them. I promise. And <laughs> there is one other thing. The knight and the mage. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Ah, love. It may be cliche, but I'm a sucker for a good romance story. They both adore each other, but are both too dense to consider that. Perhaps their feelings are reciprocated. Ah, such obliviousness. Despite the fact it's so obvious to everyone else that they're absolutely head over heels for each other. Now, if only the perfect opportunity were to just happen to present itself. <laughs> fine, fine. I won't interfere. We'll leave it as a will they, won't they? Although, nothing's stopping you from nudging them in the right direction. Perhaps take them somewhere cold. Snuggling up together for warmth on a freezing mountain. <gasps> How romantic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop prying into your friends' love lives. Such a shame, though. I don't get to share the most interesting part. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't ask me now. Like you said, it's not my place to pry into the course of mortal love. Aw, cheat. You know I can't resist when you ask so sweetly. Fine. Do you notice who I haven't mentioned the feelings of yet? <laughs> Let's just say you have some serenades in your future. I'm very much looking forward to hearing what flustered sounds you'll make. Perhaps you two will make for a lovely duet. Ah, I can barely wait.
Now, consider your spells restored. Use them wisely, my little warlock. I look forward to our next meeting. By then, I hope you'll have some more interesting stories for me. But for now, goodbye. And make sure to keep your wizard friend in good condition. You're going to need the light in those caves. <laughs>